Hey everyone, this is Candy with The Art of Joy, and uh, I am getting ready to do some blending on this pumpkin. Uh, I've got an order for it. This one is heading to Pennsylvania. And so I need to get this painted up so I can turn it into a jack-o'-lantern, but I need to get the colors blended in. So what I've done is I've put a base coat of my orange on here, and then on my palette, I have that same shade of orange. I've got golden yellow, bright red, white, and I think this is nutmeg. Yes, this is nutmeg brown. And so I'm gonna be doing some blending, and blending is something that a lot of people uh, feel unsure about. And actually, it's a whole lot easier than what you think, um, because it's, it, imperfect it's supposed to be imperfect so this is what i do i'm actually going to go in i'm going to kind of work in sections and work my way across and so i'm going to start over here and i know that i'm going to want some browns what i do is i go in and i lay my colors in and then i start taking my base coat orange and i start blending those so i know that Red looks really good as a groove color. So I'm just gonna come in and put some red there. And then I like red on my edges as well. And then I'm not going to be very concerned about cleaning my brush in between because the colors are all gonna get blended. Yellows, I put my yellows more towards the top and then I'm gonna put some white in here. And as you can see, this looks really messy, but it will all come together. Browns tend to be more of a shading color, and so I'm gonna put my browns toward the bottom mostly. So, as you can see, this just looks like a hot mess, and how in the world is this going to work out? Trust me, it will. So now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna pick up that base orange and I am just going to start working my way. And laying down orange on top of it. Now right now it still looks pretty much like a mess. I can tell I'm gonna want more red here. Now I want to work fairly quickly because the colors, this is acrylic paint. Acrylic paint tends to dry really, really fast. Now I have discovered that if I work with a gloss, that um, the drying time seems to be longer. And so even though gloss is not my favorite shade to work with, I'm going to come in and I'm going to add some reds down here. That brown is coming off just a little bit stronger than I really want it to. So I'm going to temper that down with some reds. Now one of the things I need to make sure that I do is as I'm blending, I have a tendency to stop short and I actually want to work with the shape of my pumpkin, which means I'm going to go like this, because you're going to see all those strokes. Let's see. Let's add a little bit of white there and a little bit here in the middle, in between the two um, ribs on the pumpkin, because that's going to be the area that the light is hitting. And so it's going to look brighter. You want to put your darker colors in the where, where the ribs go in on the pumpkin. Okay, so I've got that section pretty much worked out. I want to keep this area here somewhat wet because this is a transition. So I'm going to go ahead and lay some color down there. And I'm going to come in on my rib areas again and lay down that red 
Then anywhere I want it to be a little bit brighter, I'm gonna put that white, and I'm also gonna put yellow there. That's one of the nice things. I am really not, I'm too close to the work, and so right now I'm thinking I'm not caring for this brown, but I almost bet that when I walk away from it later, and I come back and look at it, I'm gonna like it better than I do right now. So I'm going back over some of the area over here that I've already covered. If it starts to feel like my paintbrush is being drug across the paint, then my paint is getting too dry. And I have to come back in and get that wetted back up and that's just simply you can do it a number of ways I do it with the paint you can also uh, go in and add water to bring that moisture level back up okay I want to put just a little more white going on here in this middle section I like to work really quick on my blending and not really think much about what I'm doing because uh, honestly, this is a place where overthinking uh, can ruin a design. And since this is whimsical style of painting, that's one of the big reasons there's no rhyme or reason to it because it's meant to be fun and playful. So I've got my center section done. Once again, I'm going to be working against this section. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay down some paint there to kind of keep that wet. Okay, so I now have, I'm gonna be working here. And so, you know, it's one of those things that this, to me, is just a really fun, this is when it gets really fun. There's parts to this paint, to the painting that don't seem as fun to me. But here, where I just get to lay in my colors and really play around with the brush and get to feel very, I guess what it is is, this is an area where you're allowed to relax. <laughs> Maybe that's why I like it so much. I, I, I'm an overthinker. And so, um, because the enemy to creativity on something like this is actually overthinking, and it's just kind of going by uh, intuition. I guess that just kind of frees me up to not think about it too much. Okay, now what I can see is I have actually gotten a lot of brown here and I really don't care for that much there. I also want to kind of lighten it up right through here. Let's see see if I bring some white down here. Let's see what happens. I think I've lost some of my redness here and I want it to be more red. So let's bring that back in. I'm doing is I'm getting blotches of paint on the side and I don't want to leave those there. I'm not too concerned about paint getting on the side but I am concerned about it being clumpy on the side. You 
you know, one of the things that, because I, I've been real excited, this has been my most productive week as an Etsy, having an Etsy shop, because prior to this week, I had only sold one item, one door hanger on Etsy. And this week, since Sunday, I have taken five orders. And so it's kind of exciting. It's not kind of exciting, it's very exciting. But it's also a little bit scary for me because I haven't had to do this much work in this short a period of time. I want my customers to feel like they got their item in a very timely fashion. And so I want to make sure that I get on this and get this out to them as quick as possible so that they feel good about me as uh, an artist and also as a businesswoman. Wow, I never called myself a businesswoman before. I guess I am. So, well, new adventures. Okay. I am really liking how this one's coming out. I like bright colors. And see, that's part of where my fear comes in, is that when I put, got a paint booger, hold on. When I put the item, when I list it on Etsy, the item that I show, if it sells, then somebody else orders that same item, then I have to recreate what they had seen. And I'm always a little bit worried because this is, you know, this is handmade. And there is no way to duplicate uh, what I've created. And so you always kind of wonder if there was something about the original that that buyer really, really liked. And uh, what if I don't recreate what they saw? What if I don't, what if they just don't end up caring for it? And so there is where a little bit of the nervousness comes in. So I can create something that I absolutely love. And of all of these pumpkins that I have painted like this so far, I think this is going to be my favorite. But what if the lady in Pennsylvania goes, eh, I'm not really crazy about how those colors all work together. So, but there is a disclaimer saying that everything is handmade. And so what you order uh, I will try to replicate, but it's not going to be exactly the same. So let me, okay, I want to, I need to bring in some reds here. I kind of like it when you get that little bit of streakiness, and I'm not seeing much yellow in this section. And so I want to bring in just a little more yellow. And let's put a little bit of white up there. I have to be really careful to not over blend because even though there is a prettiness uh, to over blend on some projects, on this one I really want to be able to see a lot of striation, I think that's the right word, in my colors because that's what makes it look really cool. I like this. Let's see, I want just a little more white there. But this past a couple weeks ago, I did a paint party with my daughter and her friends. I have a whole lot of fun doing that. 
And one of the things that I appreciate, it's one of those things. I have always, the, the job I've had working in childcare, I teach. And I've always enjoyed the aspect of teaching. But you kind of reach a point where you kind of get tired of some of the stuff. And I've been working as the, the daycare director, which is, honestly, it's the hardest job that I've ever had. And I miss the kids, but I don't miss the, the stress that the job caused me. So, um... When I did the paint party with my daughter and her friends, that allowed me to teach in a way that was really fun and playful. And so I'm hoping that before too much longer, I'll start getting more um, paint parties because I really do, it, it's fun to teach something that you're passionate about. And so I think I'm gonna call this done uh, when it gets dry, I'm going to be painting a jack-o'-lantern face on it. I also still need to come up here and pa paint the stem. But I am super happy with how this came out. Now, I do need to do a little cleaning up on my edges, and I'm just going to wipe that off. Because, once again, it leaves drops. Uh, one thing's for sure, this is definitely the messiest job that I've ever had. But... Anyway, that's what soap and water is for. And then I need to, I've got a little thing. Because I've already got my holes drilled in here for hanging it up. And when you're working, you get paint in those holes. And so these are actually little automotive, um, not automotive. If you go to the hobby store and you go back to where the craft cars, you know, the, the, what did they call those? You know, where you get a, a car kit and you get to put it together and you make a model size of something. This is actually for painting, but it's nice and sharp and um, it, it, it's hard. It's almost like it's, it's like the size of a Q-tip, but it's not fuzzy and soft. It is hard and pointed and it works great for going in for just getting the paint out of those holes so it doesn't create a problem. So anyway, so there is a lesson on blending and I hope that if you give this a try that you just have fun with it because it really is a lot of fun. So this is Candy with the Art of Joy. If you're not into painting yourself but you would rather purchase and you like some of the things that I've done, go to my Etsy shop. It is HTTP colon backslash backslash the art of joy creatable dot etsy dot com and check out what uh, is in my uh, etsy store so have a great day bye